Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemistry 24 into 7 series. In this series, we have been exploring the solution for previous year competitive exam papers. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. Let's see today's problem. So this is the problem from gate 2011. According to this problem, this substrate react with tributyl tin hydride in the presence of ABN which produce a major product X. So here you see there are four options are given. Let's figure out together which one is the correct option for this question. So let's move into the solution. So before moving that, we have already discussed about tributyl tin hydride reagent and their properties, preparation and application in three parts. If anyone missed that video, you can find the link in the description box. So let's come to the our question. So here you see when you take tributyl tin hydride and ABN which readily react together which produce tributyl tin radical. So this tributyl tin radical going to react with our substrate. So now you see tributyl tin radical quickly abstract the bromine atom. So resulting that cleavage of carbon bromine bond by homolytically to produce this carbon center radical. So this carbon center radical now going to react with alkene. However, here you see there are two alkenes are present in this intermediate. So definitely most of them get confused which alkene going to react with this radical intermediate. So for this you just start the numbering. So carbon center radical probably can attack either fifth carbon or sixth carbon. If it undergo fifth carbon that produce five member ring Perhaps if it goes sixth position that produce six member ring system. Similarly, that could attack either 10th position or 11th position. However, in general, in radical cyclization reaction, the formation of small member ring system always favored when compared to the larger ring system. So as per this rule, so now you see this carbon center radical can potentially react with this fifth position. And one more rule also there, so exocyclization are typically favored kinetically over endocyclization reaction. So once again, here you see this carbon center radical react with fifth position, definitely that should go by exocyclization. So based on that, now you see, so this carbon center radical attack with fifth position, so resulting that cyclization undergo by 5XO trick cyclization to produce this carbon center radical. Now you see this carbon center radical also having alkene. So definitely this alkene going to react with this carbon center radical. So just like our in previous case. So here also the formation of five member ring system always favored when compared to the larger ring system. You just start the numbering. So here you see this carbon center radical going to react with fifth position. For our convenience, we can redraw this structure like this. So now you see this carbon center radical react with fifth carbon by pi XO trick cyclization. So resulting that produce this new carbon center radical. So now this carbon center radical quickly abstract the proton from tributyl tin hydride. So resulting that produce this final product. So here you see this whole reaction takes place by cascade manner. So let's moving on our question. So based on our discussion among the four options, the correct option for this question is answer one. I hope this video helped to understand this question. If you enjoyed this video, just to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Kim or Kim. And finally, thanks for watching. Bye bye.